Hey there, welcome to the Earth Star Academy. In this video, I'm going to give my perspective on the World Economic Forum. So a student inside of ESA recently asked me, can you speak to news coming out of Davos regarding the recent World Economic Forum? Like taking away our ability to privately own cars and the 2030 agenda. I usually don't spend energy on these things, but I've been hearing a lot about this and it's been disturbing. I know that we're building new earth here and it has to be dismantled. And I'm just curious on your thoughts about their agenda and how organized they are versus star seas launching new earth visions while seemingly just getting started. And this is such an understandable and relevant question for us at this time. So I'm excited to dive into this. Firstly, I just want to drive home that we are supported by God and we are literally living out prophecy. This is beyond any power the World Economic Forum can possibly imagine. And I just invite us to really lean into the power of that truth, to feel that in our body, to know that, you know, if you believe in the reality of star seas, if you feel like you're from a different place here to help, it means that God has orchestrated a situation for a whole possibly millions of souls to be here on earth at this time to co-create something that God has intended. And when I say God, I mean the unified universal creation intelligence, the consciousness that is permeating all of creation that is giving rise, giving structure, giving life to all things. Um, I'm not, you know, of any human religion. I believe in the united living nature of, of the universe and I believe that it is an intelligence beyond human comprehension that is made of love that ultimately is creating from a place of love and benevolence for creation. So I believe that you know God has set forth this prophecy of the creation of heaven on earth. I believe that the star seeds are here living out that prophecy, meaning that if you resonate with this, you're literally part of this big story unfolding on the earth. And if we can allow the truth and the power of that, um, the power of our own destiny, the power of the spark inside of ourselves is resonating with this message right now that is making the hairs on your neck stand up, allowing your DNA to scintillate, be awakened by this divine light that is orchestrating this, then we're basically being danced into the resonance of the highest timeline where we are exerting and accreting our own soul's highest potential and highest creative possibility. And I feel like that's really the edge that we're riding. It's about constantly bringing ourselves into alignment with that level of power, of creativity, of joy, of alignment with our own soul's truth, right? And then realizing that there are literally so many people around the planet that are being impacted by these cosmic energies to rise into the same frequency, right? So this is the meaning of prophecy, that when source, when creation, when spirit sets something in motion, thy will be done. And I just want to iterate that, you know, I'm not Christian, but I am in alignment with Christic consciousness. And what that is, is this belief in Every time I say this, <laughs> the, the sunlight starts coming in. So Christ consciousness is this experience of divine consciousness realizing into matter. And I believe that this is the billion year old journey that humanity and, you know, humanoid beings are on in this universal creation to embody greater and greater levels of divine consciousness, to realize ourself more and more as a mirror reflection of God. So being able to come closer and closer to God, meaning we are reflecting this ability to create. And there's literally no other place in the universe right now where we're getting to experience the level of creativity that we're getting to experience on this earth right now. And that is why so many souls, millions and millions of souls have decided to come to earth at this time to literally ride that peak of cosmic creativity just rolling through the planet. This is the power that is behind the prophecy of the creation of heaven on earth. And me and you and all of us angelic starseeds here on earth 
are literally just witnessing this amazing, immaculate, divine process unfold in front of us. We're being asked, we're being invited, we're being given this amazing opportunity to literally experience ourselves rise with the tides along with the awakening of humanity. Okay, so this is the power that is in you, that is moving you. And when you allow this power to literally take you over and become the compass in your heart, become the highest guiding light in your life, you will witness God literally begin to work through you and you will begin to embody yourself as an instrument of heaven on earth. Now, knowing this next year, it's going to be huge for disclosure. 2023, 2024 is really setting the stage. I made a full 2023 energy report that you can see in the live section of my YouTube channel, but we talked about how everything is lining up for our planetary revolution in a very cosmic way. And in order for humanity to wake up, we needed different markers, opportunities, and experiences for humans to truly witness the complexity of the false matrix. I mean, remember when you were having that conversation with your sisters or your parents and you were like, the whole world is, you know, run by these people and there's all of these control systems and they're just trying to make money and none of these systems are made for human sovereignty and your parents were looking at you like you're a crazy conspiracy theorist, right? So it's hard to wake people up who um, are not seeing things from this higher vantage point. So the only way to wake everybody up on the planet was to create a scenario that is akin to what we just came out of with the plague the last few years, right? Now that the plague has gone and it's, you know, happened, so many people are waking up to the fact that, whoa, wait a minute, that was not normal and that was kind of weird. There seems to be some shadowy stuff going on there. And all of a sudden your neighbors and your family members are calling you up. They're like, hey, I'm sorry, but it seems like you were right about all of that stuff. I mean, were you right? What else do you know? Okay. And that is, of course, when you are then invited into a leadership role inside of your family, inside of your neighborhood, inside of human civilization. And that is really why, you know, here at the Earth Star Academy, we focus so much on human emotional and spiritual mastery and spiritual and emotional maturity because we're really positioning you to be ready to become a leader in your community, not just in the spiritual community where a lot of people are actually trapped in this little bubble where we're basically useless to the rest of the planet, but to your human neighborhood, to your family members, to be grounded and human enough to be connected and authentic and truly grounded in your true authentic core enough that people trust you right? People see you as somebody that is an authority, is a true, uh, respectful, and smart human being that's grounded and powerful, who's embodied, right? Um, I feel like the new age community often does the opposite. You know, it's trying to make us into these crazy hippie people that most human beings inherently don't trust because, you know, let's be honest, we can't even figure out how to have a bank account let alone organize entire city of resources to make sure that everyone is taken care of and everyone is, you know, being put on a conveyor belt towards their highest destiny, which is what we're here to organize. This is the message um, responding to Stacy's remark about how the World Economic Forum is literally so organized, right? These are literally the world's billionaires, the quote unquote, most powerful people in the world, they come together, they have these meetings, they're very organized and strategic about what they're doing. And they basically created this chaotic new age community so that the star seeds are ungrounded, we're running around, we're snorting, you know, shamanic cocaine <laughs> and thinking that we're healing ourselves. And, you know, I totally love shamanic medicine, but I'm just making fun of how sometimes we can literally just get sucked into those realms and become basically useless in our own power and our own agency uh, to change the world like we've set out to do. And so I really believe that this year, next year, it is time for us to get trained, to get smart, to get organized. Here at the Earth Star Academy, we actually will be organizing a summit called the World Elevation Forum 
This will come out, you know, towards the end of this year. We're still so far from even organizing it, but we really are here to um, support divine children of God to come in our highest embodiment through the quantum energy, through the DNA activations, but also through learning about our earth self and our human way of growth and our human ancestry and our human ability to connect and ascend our humanness into maturity and also about you know entrepreneurship in response to um stacy's question about the cars being taken away and all this stuff you know plan 2030 i really think that the elites are trying to speed up their plan right they said 2030 and then they're trying to roll back their plan so that it happens faster because they're recognizing how quickly human beings are actually waking up and ascending in consciousness so early this year or early 2022, I was guided to join this um, community of young entrepreneurs, right? And these people were, you know, in their 30s, they were working in the sectors of new technology, of healing the earth, of new healing modalities, of, you know, body optimization, and they were all very motivated. I don't think they really knew about star seeds, even though they, most of them were. Um, they were, definitely aware of God and of spiritual. They're very spiritual people. They believed that, you know, they're given this mission in their heart to help humanity with these new technologies that they're bringing through. And this is the understanding of entrepreneurship that we also support people in coming into, supporting by, supported by, you know, creation mechanics how our light body and our DNA is designed for us to pull cosmic energy into our body to create and then supported by the human component of really understanding that entrepreneurship is how civilizations um, improve and expand. Think about all the things that have made your life more convenient and better from your hot water heater to your computers to your vacuum. Somebody had to invent that because they were thinking about how to make life better for everyone. And that is what entrepreneurship is all about. I believe that over the next you know, decade, so many star seeds are gonna come into their creative potential and start to bring technologies from our home worlds, remembering that we've already gone through many cycles of ascension. We come from civilizations that are ascended, that has you know, um, free energy, and um, anti-gravity technology and all of these things. So many starseeds will be bringing these technologies here to earth and I witnessed firsthand in this group many of these starseeds already starting to do this. So another way that you know we get kind of stuck in our little bubble of reality and when we venture out into these other realms that we judge, right? We think, oh, you know, entrepreneurs, they're all greedy and they don't, you know, do anything. Well, in actuality, many of them are very focused and very diligent, work very hard, very disciplined with their um, time spending, with their intentions of making something happen with their lives that fulfills their destiny and makes life better for everyone on this planet, which ultimately um, the next video I'm going to release is about star seeds. I believe that the ultimate definition of star seed is just someone that has a spark of spirit in their heart that is here to help humanity in some way. And that is going to look differently for everyone. Speaking of, I just had a dream last night where I had a flying car and I went to my car and it was literally my Subaru. And, but it literally transforms, like you start driving it and it transforms and it just goes up into the sky and, you know, it drives 700 kilometers uh, per charge and we were driving around in this flying car. So I think that it was kind of a foreshadow of today's video that new technology is coming up and we are being invited to join the stream of those new technologies, right? The Earth Star Academy is a new technology that's here to support you in activating your highest potential. But there's so many other technologies that are also coming in for the masses that, you know, healings for um, eating disorders, healings for, um, you know, suicidal ideation, whatever it is, everything, right? If you're the healing sector, these are the things that you're meant to bring from the higher dimensional realms to translate them 
into human language so that all of humanity can benefit. Somebody that is doing this in an amazing way is the doctor, Joe Dispenza, of course. But um, I invite you to really tune into this vibration of inspiration, of divine flow, of prophecy, of recognizing that you are living in the time of prophecy and you are a part of God's prophecy. You are literally the emanation of God's prophecy because God intended for heaven on earth to be created and then you were born out of that dream. So this is what star seeds are. And when you recognize the power of God and you allow that into your core and you recognize that that power is your own power to do, be, and you know, materialize all that is in your heart, then feel all of that fear and anxiety just dissipate. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.